Welcome back. Here is the user input program that we wrote a little bit ago, and now I just want to change it around a little bit. It's important to know that when you're intaking uh, numbers from the console that they're going to come in as strings, and that you have to convert them from a string into a number in order to do any sort of mathematics to it. So I'm just going to... Don't do this to yours. Create a new project if you could. I'm going to erase all this stuff, but first I'm going to declare two integers here. I'm going to do int x and then int y and I'm gonna ask the user right here console.write line enter x and then this one's gonna be the same except for it's gonna be enter y and I'm gonna erase all this and I'm just gonna simply add the two numbers together x and then concatenate plus concatenate y concatenate equals concatenate x plus y so what would happen if I tried to compile this control f5 what am I gonna get I'm gonna get an error and I'm gonna get it here okay because f, f name doesn't exist so let's fix that real quick so instead of f name and l name we're gonna change it to x and y so we'll do x and we'll do y now let's, com let's compile it and see what happens we still get an error. Where do we get an error? Hmm. We have a string to int controversy here. Not a big deal. We can do this. So let's close these two. And since this is going to come in as a string, we can invoke the integer class, do integer dot parse, and then encase this all within parentheses. So now what it's going to do is it's going to convert whatever comes in from the command line and turn it into an integer. And now I'm going to do the same thing here, int dot parse, and then turn all this into an integer, compile this, and do 52, and then 1, okay, and then what it does here is it 52 plus 1 equals 521, which we know is not correct. So right here, put the parentheses around this x plus y because without the parentheses basically what it did is it concatenated the two of them together as if it was a string so control f5 so now we'll do 52 and 1 52 plus 1 equals 53